some reason I think the, I don't know why, it took forever to wake up and I wasn't able to turn on the remote key to the car, which I had a hard time convincing myself to get out of bed without having, being able to remotely heat the car. That's one of the nicest features when it's 27 degrees out. But, let's see, we have 300 miles of range that say 87 miles to the next supercharger, so we should be good to go. got a little gift from the Petersons and they're using it to spell words and it says YouTube. And this so is a thumbs, thumbs up. up. That's it, really bad. It works. Say it again. Now we've got the, it's um, the electric road trip. The electric road trip made out of these little Lego type. Yeah, wheels. they're not quite Legos. Daddy. So I was on the phone and I missed my turn. We were supposed to go down 191 was going to be 122 miles total and now we've driven like I don't know five or six miles and we still have 122 to go so um and we've got as you see 275 rated range but we're just going to go for it what do you think about that Katie we're going to be in the middle of nowhere so <laughs> <laughs> we'll have to go like 30 miles an hour if it gets close or I don't know what we would do if it but hopefully it's going to work. She said, do we need to drive back to the charger and charge up some more? But of course, I don't want to do that. So what do you boys think? Um, I, I think I don't want to do my math. <laughs> what do you think, Caleb? Let's roll, huh? Yeah. <laughs> We're in southern Wyoming headed into Utah. The boys are doing their homeschool. Digestive system, parts of the digestive system. Liver, uh, small intestine, large intestine, the mouth. It is not boring. Going into this beautiful yeah, valley, and we just passed over yeah, into Utah. Really and this is where the dinosaurs used to live. We've we seen lots of signs for like, dinosaur like fossils. So we are trying to go pretty slow because we need to tight. make up some range. The, one of the, the downsides of an electric road trip. Going kind of slow, but we're enjoying the scenery while we're... Yeah, the more slow you go, the more scenery you can see. There you go. Think of it that way. This was one of our longer sections, 135 miles. Um, we arrived with 53 miles remaining. So it was mostly, we went up, up, we went up over a huge mountain, but we were going super slow. I locked it in at 35 miles an hour just to make sure. And then we went back down the mountain and uh, it was looking sketchy there for a bit, but the last, I don't know, from about 40 miles out to about 20 miles out was all downhill. So worked out fine. We're at uh, Outlaw RV Park. It's called Outlaw something, Outlaw Trail RV Park, maybe. And uh, about to go into Dinosaur National Monument. Okay. Where are you guys flying to? Um, where do you want to fly to, Caleb? It's going to be hard to turn with Caleb way out but there on the wing. Get on the very back, okay? Let's go to Alaska. No, I don't think you're supposed to. Hmm. That's Alaska. Yeah, we're headed to Alaska. That's where. All right, show me how it works. And we're just starting to go. <laughs> Dinosaur National Monument. Looking for fossils. What? What? What do you see? Oh, kind of looks like one. Mm, like I don't know. Where is it? 
Supposedly the larger this ones is not are cool marked at by all. a white arrow. Well, ew, what's this? I don't know. Yeah. We found one, finally. See that white arrow, and then there's the vertebrae. Looks like a vertebrae of Where? a dinosaur. It's up on the top. My mind was blown by the size and the incredible volume of the dinosaur fossils. It made me wonder when we get to heaven if, um, instead of just asking God what happened, if he'll be like, hey, go talk to Noah and his family. And instead of just being able to walk up and talk to them, you know, what if we had to like learn their language first? And what if we still had access to the fossil record and, you know, explored, um, explored it rather than just having everything be told straight to us? That's made for an interesting thought. We're still in Dinosaur National Monument. Heading over to Josie's cabin. Just a very nice view out here. Josie's homestead. Built in the early 1900s. Fireplace. This looks like it might be the wood box or a closet of some kind behind here. The people of Fremont designed and built both of these items. One is those petroglyphs. They were called the Fremont people. And one is this car. It was built in Fremont, California, spelled the same way.